y'all. So today we are doing the black balsam knob via the Art Loeb Trail. Don't come at me if I said that wrong. Super excited to do this trail. Um, the Blue Ridge Parkway is open. It's July. It's slammed. It is so busy. Um, so hopefully it'll be really nice up there still with all these people, but let's go check it out. We've only went 0.29 of a mile and we're at this little section and this panoramic views already um, which is what this trail is known for so it's really pretty so far so this is a nice little stopping area after that short little climb it's really pretty so far So for this trail to have so many cars, I guess there's a couple of trails. There's the Sam Knob Trail also out here. Um, lots of backpack hikers um, going camping, but we've only passed a couple of people and it's been really nice and secluded. Me and Shane most of the time so far on the trail, so not too bad to be so busy today.
we went to 1.2 of a mile. Um, this trail is 1.5, and for some reason I was thinking 1.5 one way. Apparently it's just 1.5 total. <laughs> so we're headed back. Um, you can go this way too, which is our original plan was to do. There's a 4.6 mile loop. Um, so we're on that, but we want to do some other cool trails. There's a couple other waterfalls in the area. Um, so we're just going to stop there and head back and <laughs> go check out some waterfalls and hopefully find a camping spot. So not really sure where we're going to be camping. We're just going to kind of ride and see where we end up. Right from the top, we just took a little well-traveled path over there and came down here. And there is a really pretty camp spot right here overlooking the mountains. Um, this is probably 0.8 of a mile in, so not even a whole mile to get to this spot though, so that's not too bad. So up behind me is the whole reason I've been wanting to do this hike. Um, it's a trail up over this ridge and it's all open, which is so weird for this area. We're in North Carolina. Um, there's no trees. It's all open for a nice panoramic view at the top. Also, another really nice camp spot. Some really nice views. Okay, so we just finished hiking. It was totally worth it. It was so nice, really good views. I didn't think it was difficult hike at all. Um, more moderate, if anything. Um, we're gonna head to Courthouse Falls. It's close, it's like 10 minutes from here. Um, and try to find a camp spot, do that waterfall, and then also hopefully hit up Skinny Dip Falls too. So let's go check those places out. Skinny Dip Falls. Um, it's really busy, but here it is. It's really pretty. 
the water is really clear. I guess there's not any sand or dirt. It's just rocks, so it's really pretty. made it up to a little pool up here where nobody else is so this technically is skinny dip falls I think you might could actually skinny dip in this one <laughs> Okay, so Courthouse Falls ended up falling through. That road was closed, so that's a bummer. But kind of went all over, and we ended up coming to Horse Pasture because it started pouring rain where we were. It may rain here. We're kind of right on the edge of the storm, so we're just going to chill, hang out, see what it's going to do. May or may not camp, but we'll see. We're going to have a drink. and maybe watch the storm roll in or watch the sunshine come back. So we decided to stay. We almost left legit three times we pulled out of this place, but we were like, when are we ever gonna have this really good sight and stay? So we were like, it's just drizzling a little bit and then now it's actually really nice out. So we're setting up some party lights or somewhere to put party lights. We got our tent set up. Got our chairs. Overlooking this nice view. And I think we might head down to Jumping Off Rock for a little bit to watch the actual sunset here in just a little bit. Um, it's almost 8 o'clock right now, so <laughs> we'll head down there soon. 